Well, that didn't work. All right, I just got to a spot that I think looks pretty good. I got a three ounce ball weight, a size one hook with some squid on it. And I'm just gonna cast out right in front. Looks a little bit deep right out here, so we'll find out. Yeah, I guess it's not too deep. Okay, so I decided to move spots. That last one just wasn't really working out. Didn't really have a lot of rocks. And there was a lot of sand. Not the type of fish I'm looking for. So I'm coming out to this spot. Spot that I'm used to, spot that I've fished many a times. Let's see what we can find. It's looking pretty good out here today. It's uh, not a lot of kelp, which normally this place has a lot. So I got a two and a half jig with a big hammer swim bait on a 6 aught hook. Going to throw this out and see what I can catch. Looking for cabazon, lean cod. Some game fish. Alright, so I threw that swim bait about 10 times and just going to try some cut bait. Let this sit and hang out. Oh yeah, getting nibbles. Okay, I got I think I got something. Pretty good size kelp greenling. I think I'm gonna keep this. Oh man. Well, got himself off. This is always a good thing to have on hand. Multi tool. Oh man. Pretty sure that was a female. Look at all these eggs. Poor thing.
Alright, got a good sized cup greenling. These guys gotta be 12 inches minimum. This one's definitely over 12. I'm gonna get on out of here. It's starting to get pretty dark. So I'm gonna make the hike back so I can still be able to see. Got that one kelp greenling, you know, it's a pretty slow day, but you know, all you need really is just one fish. So I'm gonna get back, start cooking it up. It's a beautiful evening. Wind's calming down. But I'm gonna get on home, enjoy some creature comforts. So I want to tell you guys a little bit about some lore of this spot. For those of you that know where I'm at, have you ever heard about the creature that lives out here that has antlers and paralyzes people or kills them? So you never know, if you're out here all alone by yourself, you might just come across it. Always be careful when you're alone. You never know what might happen or what you might come across. It's beautiful out here. The cryptid that lives out here has been described as a creature that stalks humans, paralyzes them, and drains their blood. If you're interested in checking out this spot, keep your wits about you because you might not make it out alive. Sweet potato fries, some extra virgin olive oil. Some pepper. Some garlic salt. Some onion powder. Get this all mixed up. cook that for about 10-15 minutes on 380. So I got my fillets here, dried off, ready to go. Start by giving them an egg wash, quick and easy. Lays, gonna throw them on in. Okay. 
put the garlic aioli right on it. Set my filet right on top. Some nice iceberg lettuce. Sweet potato fries. Steamed broccoli on the side. Sweet potato fries, steamed broccoli, and a kelp greenling on a soft French roll with iceberg lettuce and garlic aioli sauce. Catch and cook kelp greenling. start. Tastes like trout. <laughs> 